Kirby asked a question, my big challenge, all about cornering, understanding my speed, nailing the breaking point, breaking enough but not too much, and the relatively easy part, break release. What overall guidelines can you lay out? Um, oh, so corner entry, talking about corner entry speed. Um, you know, I did, a, I did an entire webinar, what, man, that was almost, maybe that was two years ago, uh, um, all on breaking and corner entry. And, you know, I'm, uh, so I'm not going to spend a full hour on that, but, you know, it's such a great topic that let's just start with um, uh, talking about that here. So let's say uh, car number one, that's you, you're coming down the, the straightaway, you're approaching the braking zone. And, you know, if you've been around, around me and what I write and talk about, you know, uh, a big thing for me is we, we talk about the, the begin of braking, you know, the begin of braking where you, where you start braking. Come on. So begin a breaking, Bob. And then somewhere down here is where you end breaking, that point where your foot comes off the brake pedal. And you know, let's say you're coming down here and you're on this line and you're gonna drive a line something like that. You know, you're the point where you're turning in, you know, your turn in point might be right there, but your end of breaking point might be somewhere, let's say, in here. And that's your end of breaking point. And to me, the single biggest thing that causes drivers to overslow for a corner is being overly focused on where they begin braking. So they're approaching the braking zone and really focusing on that brake marker on the side of the track. They're going to brake at the three or the two or the crack in the pavement or the end of the curbing. Um, it's really important that you get your eyes up looking into where you're going to end your braking. This will be in your peripheral. You'll notice that point in your peripheral vision. But if you're really focused on that begin of braking and you're just really focused on that, first of all, your eyes are not up and looking in the corner and thinking about where you're gonna end up. And what ends up happening usually is you get to here and think, I break now. And you break now and then you get down to the corner and go, oh, the corner's still up there. I, I almost have to accelerate to get to it. Uh, some of you may have had that experience at some point in your life, uh, driving life. and. Some of you may have just kind of felt a little bit of that, but the idea is if you have your eyes up looking in here to the end of breaking point, and again, that end of breaking point, by the way, the end of breaking point could be here, you know, it could be right there, it could be over here, it could be here, it could be here, and somebody will say, well, but where, how do I find a little reference there? It's not like you need to find a hard, like, solid reference, like a crack in a pavement, or a paint mark or something like that. Uh, and it's not like, you know, we put out pylons or cones right there to say that's where your foot comes off the brake pedal. But when you have your eyes in this area, focused down into this area, past the turn in, in this case on a tight hairpin corner like this where you would want a trail break into the corner, if your eyes are down in here, this is the critical part. You think about your initial braking and your initial braking is, is hard. I'm gonna kind of uh, illustrate the pressure on this right here. So the hard pressure, and then you come down and you trail out like that. It's not perfectly drawn. A whole lot easier if I stand over on this side and draw. Um, uh, so this is the hard pressure, and then you know you gradually slip, take some pressure out of it, and then you ease off, and you kind of have this trail into the into the end of breaking point here. And what happens, you notice, is that you do most of your braking in this first two-thirds here, and in this last, or first half in this case, um, and in this last little bit, right in this area here, you're doing a number of things. One is, you're thinking about uh, how you want the car balanced. You know, do you want a lot of weight on the nose of the car to get the car to turn here? You know, do you want it to, to rotate a lot here um, or not? So that's going to dictate how and when you release off the brakes. But the other thing is you get down to here and you go, ah, I can use that last little, little bit of braking to manage my speed. That's my fine tuning tool. I get down to here and I'm going, if I'm going too fast, I just stay on the brakes a little longer. Just a little of that same pressure before I start to release. If I feel like I've overslowed, then I can start to release a little sooner. So, you know, if I get down to here, you know, I've done the same braking, I've done the same braking, I've done the same braking, but I get down to here and just feel like I've 
over slowed, now I start to release the brake pedal and it looks like that. If I'm coming down in here and again the same brake pressure thing along here, I get to here and feel like I've, I haven't slowed enough, then it looks like that. So you use this last little bit here to manage the corner entry speed and that only way you can do that is if your eyes are down your eyes and your mind are down here when you're back here. Now obviously when you're here you're already starting to think around and look around over to here but you're really managing uh, you're managing your speed your corner entry speed in this last little bit here with the timing and rate of release of the brakes.